for a stranger with a misfire. There's no fault codes. Diesel engines. I'll see what's going on here. I just unplug the injectors. I'm going to crank the engine and see how it sounds. Sounds pretty even with the compression, but I'll check it with a scope. I've cranked it, you can see the starting crankage, and then it's gone down the amperage, I mean, and it's pretty even across all cylinders, all four. So I'm going to go and check the injectors. That's just a look at the pulse sensor that I'm using in the exhaust. That's the amp clamp that I'm working the injector wires. Happily sitting there. The red one is the pulse sensor in the exhaust, and this is the injector pattern and injector one. I just put the rules in to get an idea of what cylinder so each cylinder is going to fire. So that's cylinder one, two, three, four. Oh, well, maybe, maybe not that order, but we've got. Four cylinders all fire. So that's where we're at. And we've got the pulse is going up on the exhaust stroke. So as one fires, four would be on the exhaust stroke. So it's pushing out a pulse of number four cylinder. And here we're always getting a pulse coming up. Right as the um, exhaust stroke is. One of the pistons will be on the exhaust stroke. Just past one of these lines where it changes colors where it's divided. So, so far there's nothing obvious there looking at that. So I'm going to turn this so I can see it inside and wrap it the engine. What I'm going to do is wrap this up a bit and see. Can I see anything change? Okay. Ah, there we go. When I do that, we lose it. See the misfire? What I'm going to do is pause that. Okay, now I'm going to go and look back for the waveforms. Time where I was snapping the throttle open see where this was changing. I may have left it too late. That looks pretty even there. Yeah. That's probably over on. So it looks pretty even. See that the scale needs changed here for the ruler, so I'll just bring that in to show you a bit. See before, like I said, with cross each one of these times it crosses the collar, we're changing one of them's on a where well, it changes the shade of the blue, it's the exhaust pushing out. So this one's not pushing out as much right here. So that one is the weak one, so we need to figure out which one that is. It's on cylinder 4, every time that injector fires, it, cylinder 1 is on the exhaust. It has to lever it so that it'll help us with this. Same as before. Let's just start it recording. Okay. I'm just doing a few snap throttles. Now I'm going to see what I can see. 
stop it recording and I'll play it back. Now start the engine. Number four injector in blue now. Number four. So when number four injector is going, it's number one is on the exhaust stroke, right? Because this is a diesel, so it fires about 2dc on the cylinder, the injector fires. And you see what we've got going on here is after well when number one when number four was injecting number one's on the exhaust and there's not a lot of pressure in red coming out on at that time so it means it's not really contributed much whereas we go to here let's say the firing order was like i don't know one four no one three four two if that's number three we got a lot of push going on there and again and again, and back to here, we don't have anything on that cylinder. So this one's really not showing a lot of effort after it was injected. But when we did the cranking test, they were all pretty even. So we know that ev uh, we know it's not uh, mechanical, it's fuel. And it doesn't do it all the time. It's only when you snap the throttle. But in this case, we've caught it. And it's, it shows it to be, because I'm on cylinder 4 here, injector. So it must be cylinder one that's not putting out as much pressure after it's fire after the exhaust has been pushed out if that makes sense uh, I I don't have the overlay here but what I, I can show you is if I work through here that's a bit more messed up so that could be that could be the um, you know the overrun See there an overrun, you can also see where there's no fueling going on, it's just kind of even. So we know that mechanically it's okay. See there. So we'll just keep going back. See, and that's the one that I was just showing you, and that's why I'm on injector 4. So it would be cylinder 1 that's on that uh, exhaust stroke at the same time, the companion cylinder. That's not too bad at take over, you see, it looks smooth, so you wouldn't see it then. But you can do a snap throttle test using two tools, just an amp clamp and uh, the pulse sensor that's at the back going into the exhaust. Anyway, I found it interesting, just more that I'm learning to do with the Pico, and I thought I'd show you what I've found. Thanks for watching.